So if you go to the meditation part of Star Wars, you'll be able to see all of the skills if you are a little bit further in this game. To start with, you do need to unlock all of the stances and obviously we'll be able to see all the lightsaber stuff. But we're going to run through all of the survival, lightsaber and obviously four stats that you can actually get in this game. So with survival, you've only got one set. Obviously, once you finish the game, as you complete more and more, you'll be able to finish everything to have a complete set of skills in this game. We've obviously you've got focus, you've got survival skills, improved, expert, and then you also have focus sight. Obviously, then you have greater reflexes, and then the other side you have improved stim formula, and then obviously perfected, and then also teamwork and the power of friendship. This one, to be honest, I like obviously the maximum life. If you are playing on a higher difficulty, this will come in handy for you. But I would say that you're probably going to focus more on your lightsaber and force to start with, especially on lower levels. Maybe at the higher sort of end, you might want a bit more health. But again, you are probably playing a little bit more safe than what I did. In the lightsaber, to start with, you have your single stance. We will be going through all of the different variations and what's necessarily the best for you. But all of these are relative to the stance you're in. So, for instance, if you are more into the single stance, then you want to be getting as much of this done as possible. So, to start with, we have lunge and strike. And these are going to be a few of the starting ones that you use. We have improved footwork, uh, cyclone slash, charged throw, aerial ace... And then we also have the other side with Aerial Assault. We have Twofold Reflection, Dash Strike, Aerial Dash Strike. And that is going to be all of them from the single. If you want to read the description, obviously pause the video at the specific one. And we then go on to the Double Blade. This one, again, is like... Um, like a Darth Maul sort of one. So it is both ends, one single lightsaber, but both ends are out. We have Gathering Tempest. We have Vortex Dive. Double Orbit. We have Multifold Reflections. We have Endless Hurricane. Controlled Throw. Rising Storm. And then finally, the Repulsing Burst. Dual, uh, dual Wield is both of them. So for instance, it is two lightsabers at once. We have Backstep Slash. We have Focused Parry. We have Uncoiled Strikes. Uh, what Serpent's Bite, we have Split Reflection, Precision Release, Dancing Blades, and also Twin Vipers. Some really, really cool ones with this. Dual Wield is one of my favorite ones at, towards the end, most definitely, but we did, as you can imagine, use a lot of Double Blades. It looked really, really cool. Then we have the Blaster. So this is your gun movement. Don't get this until kind of like... Probably about halfway through, to be honest. And again, I don't really utilize it too much, hence why I don't have any of the uh, skills done. We have Flying Lunge. We have Blaster Cooldown. We have Efficient Heat Transfer. Point Blank. Quick Draw. Energizing uh, Flurry. And then finally, Improved Clip. Again, all designed around the Blaster. Obviously, skill-wise, it's mainly just improving the blaster's efficiency more than anything. And finally, we have Cross Guard. This is a bigger lightsaber. If you've seen this one, this one comes in a little bit after the blaster. We have Render, uh, what is it? Rending Strike. We have Greater Cleave and Swing. Reach and Cleave. We have Surrender, what is that? Surrendering? Surrendering Swipe. We then have Impact, Greater Impact. Charge Reflection, and Rolling Thunder. And then finally, we go on to the Force set. This one, again, is quite a nice one. It is a mixture of all of the different forces that you can use. Concentration, Telekinesis, and also Confusion. We have, obviously, the, the, the first few here in Attunement. I think is how you pronounce it. Greater Hold, ex, uh, Extreme Hold, and Superior Hold. And then we have Channeled Energy and Swift Focus. Going on to Telekinesis, we have Wrenching Pull, Radial Push, Howling Push, Parry Push, Gravitational Mastery, Soaring Lift, we have Power Lift, Power Slam, we have Mass Slam, uh, Unrelenting Pull, and finally Twin Pull. And then finally, onto the Confusion, we have Adult a, a a Mind, we have Confounded Mind, Greater Confusion, Amplification, re, uh, Redirecting Strength, Confusion Mastery, and finally, Superior Confusion. Personally, I would tend to kind of keep some more points as you go through. You'll find that you will collect points, especially towards the end when you're into a lot of battles. You'll find your points do go up quite quickly. And I would definitely, having a look at this, look at what you want to go for first. For instance, doing a few of the singles, getting that out of the way, you can go through most of the game with the single. And I must admit, Dual Wield has definitely been one that I've been looking at the most. And I would definitely 
really recommend trying to go with dual wield personally, but it is all down to you. Blaster, not my favorite, and cross guard being the slower swing. Again, I'm not necessarily a massive fan, especially if you are playing a harder difficulty, whereas I think the dual wield and double bladed look both the most eye-pleasing when playing the game. Survival is one that I would do, especially if you are going on a harder difficulty, at least the max strength as soon as possible. And then forces, again, Jedi concentration, whether you use the confusion, that might be really good for obviously, again, a harder difficulty if you're going up against five or six people, then obviously confusing one of them and then having them attack themselves would be a great bene uh, benefit as well. But that's going to be all of the skills you can get in Star Wars Jedi Survivor.